Hi, everybody. Today we are talking with Joe Klein. Joe is a member of the ROI department. So, Joe, tell us about um, what you collect. Right. So, I collect, um, I not necessarily thrift store books, but books underneath $5 from, um, you know, like Friends of the Library sales um, and thrift shops that I've come across. So, I have a bunch on a table here and I We'll have to. Yeah. So here are just like a couple that I've collected over the years. Um, some of them are also from like my grandmother. Um, so technically they were underneath five dollars, um, but I did not purchase them. <laughs> <laughs> well, what got you started and how long have you been collecting? Yeah. So oops, I forget my mic is on this. There we go. Um, so I started my, uh, there's a Friends of the Library kind of book sale place um, up in Maine where I used to go every summer and where I'd go every summer as a kid. So I started by picking up a bunch of like sci-fi, like fantasy novels. So in like the 50 cent um, bookshelves. And then from there, I saw a lot of like older things. So like this one was in there um, and it was like, I think, 10 cents because the spine is falling apart and it's falling apart. So I really wanted to be a book binder in high school. So I picked up a lot of these older books um, that were less than a dollar uh, to see if I could try it out. But then I started reading them, noticed that some of them were super old um, and, you know, were in like German. So I have a couple that are from like 1920s, 1908, which is my favorite one um, from Germany. Um, or in German. So they were actually published in Switzerland and a bunch of other places. So I just kept amassing those. So now I keep an eye out for cool looking older books, especially things from like uh, pre-World War II Germany. So I have like a collection of like Goethe, which I cannot pronounce, um, uh, books and like a couple of dictionaries to help see, you know, how were, were different back then before World War II and how are they different to modern German? Um, yeah. Well, cool. Well, um, you t touched on this already, but can you tell us a little bit about one of your favorite or most prized items in the collection? Yeah, well, so, and actually, while I do really, really like the, the 20s Germany dictionary that I have, um, my favorite one is the Collier's World Atlas and Gazetteer, um, because it is huge. Um, so, this one... I think was actually ten dollars so technically i'm cheating um it was not under one dollar so uh there's a year somewhere in here but i think it's so 1947 which is interesting to see um and i really like it because like so i have the the north carolina map kind of held on here so it's all railroads so like when you zoom in, if it focuses, you can see like in Guilford, um, it's got the Southern, Southern and Southern <laughs> Railroads, um, which I'm not as familiar with, and the Yadkins one, um, and it's all green, so there's no like highways, there's no uh, things that you'd see on like maps today, so. I like looking at it, um, you know, just seeing what was different in the 40s and 1947 in the United States. And it's a world atlas, so there's some other countries too. So it's interesting what place names have changed. Um, yeah. Well, that is, that's very cool. I like, uh, I like that very much. And the railroad track would have gone right near the UNCG campus. So yes. uh, when you yeah. trace the Greensboro piece, it would have gone right past that. Yep. But thank you for, for sharing that with us. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. And actually, one real quick thing to note in the Gazetteer, um, there's Guilford College is mentioned. So um, Guilford College is right up there, and it, it, it's mentioned as a small town that houses Guilford College. <laughs> so, awesome. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks.